How serious are these charges against Epstein, David? Oh, huge. I mean, he's exposed to life on these sex trafficking cases. Now, let's just talk how this came about, because back about a decade ago, he resolved his cases in Florida on state crimes, and he signed a non-prosecution agreement with the feds. Now, just this, this year, that non-prosecution agreement was found to be violating federal law, which opens the door to these new charges. And because sex trafficking doesn't have a statute of limitations, New York has now brought these charges against him, and he's exposed to life in prison. As a former assistant U.S. attorney, Alex, are you convinced the feds must have the goods on Epstein? Well, look, the Southern District of New York is a very, very capable office. They're, you know, well known as some of the best prosecutors in the country. So they clearly have what they believe is a strong case. There are a lot of complications in this case. It took place a long time ago, the, the conduct at issue. And there is this deal hanging out there that the now Labor Secretary Acosta signed when he was the U.S. attorney down in Miami, which could absolutely lead to some complications down the road. And his defense team, Epstein's going to, you know, he's a billionaire. He's going to have a huge defense team. Uh, they're going to fight this every step of the way. Pretty serious lawyer on the other side, too, and David Boys, right? What are next steps in this case, David? Yeah, he's going to be arraigned. He's going to go before a magistrate, and the judge is going to determine whether or not he'll be released with conditions. Thereafter, the prosecutor will have to provide discovery, and Epstein and his team is going to have to make the decision whether or not to plead guilty, whether or not to go to trial. And I think the most interesting thing that pops to me is, is Epstein going to cooperate? Because back in the day when he signed that non-prosecution agreement, it also protected co-conspirators. Mm -hmm. So if, if he's looking at life in prison, now may be the time to roll over on people. And who knows what type of people may be involved in this conspiracy. Great point. This guy's a billionaire with a lot of wealthy and high-profile friends. Should those people be worried about Epstein taking them down with him, Alex? Absolutely. What's really interesting about this is that it's being done by the public prosecution unit um, in New York. So these are folks who generally do pros corruption crimes, do economic crimes. And so they are very well adept at flipping people like this against folks sort of higher up the food chain. Epstein has really famous friends. He's hung out both the current President Trump and the former President Bill Clinton. And so if you're in his orbit and you were doing things that you shouldn't have back in the early 2000s, you ought to be very, very concerned right now. Do does sex trafficking, which is the charge, require other people? So, David, would you expect the feds to be looking for alleged co-conspirators. Yes, absolutely. M the Miami Herald, uh, they came out and they had a very comprehensive report and, and there are co-conspirators that are mentioned in the report. So if th that report is true, there are many that have to worry about cooperation by Epstein. Final thoughts, let's start with Alex. You know, this is a case that could be incredibly explosive. This is a case that's been in the news and I think really has some under there, there's some underworld pennings here that once it comes to light, I think it's going to blow the socks off folks. There's also been some thought that, you know, that these were young women who maybe they didn't think people would notice. You know, they were, they were kind of uh, under, underprivileged young women. So is that also perhaps encouraging that they may get justice, David? Yes. Uh, they, they have been represented on uh, many different actions. There have been defamation actions that have been filed. There, have been, there was that action in Florida to find the non-prosecution agreement void. So they are represented, and they will be heard, and this will be a case in the press, no doubt about it. Alex, any final thoughts for you? Yeah, I think that the, the fact that New York is doing this is what we need to watch very, very closely. The next couple days are going to be really interesting. I think it's a, a case to watch for sure.